Bob Gilbert. I want to welcome you to my live call tonight. And it's how to get your team to love your leadership. That's a challenge for some people. People, you know, so many people in network marketing complain about their offline, you know? So we'll talk about that. in over 40 years I share a lot of what I've learned on these live calls I started in this business totally broke and sold a junk truck to get started put $200 into my business and that was almost 28 years ago for the last 28 almost 28 years I've been full-time now so I'll share a, a, a tip tonight that I think will be helpful for those of you that are interested in having your people follow your leadership there's things that we can do to drive them away. Hey, Kim from Springfield, Missouri. Nice to see you. Barry Blake in New Zealand. What's up? What's up, mate? Hope you're doing well, Barry. And Ciro in Salt Lake City. Good to see you, Ciro. And uh, let me see. We have coming out. Uh, let me see. Oh, Cole Winder from Toronto. Nice to see you. Brandy. Forgot where you're from, but hey, Brandy. And Olinia. Good to see you. Not too far from me in Tennessee. Good to see you on the live. You see the outline of the mountains back there? It's starting. It's almost dark, but it's not dark yet. Um... I hope everyone's having a great week. Actually, I just finished giving a live call into a Tony Robbins group. A lot of that, a lot of great things going on there. Brandy in New York, good to see you. Um, so, uh, you know, I've been talking about last week, Monday, Tuesday, this week, how to onboard people with the three, seven, 30 system and so if you haven't seen those videos then you can just go to my page and look at them that is the I talk about the first three days or the first 72 hours and then the first seven days and then 30 days so different lives that you will see uh, that I did on those on that subject on onboarding most important uh, if you want to keep people around and get rich in this business. Um, so, um, how to get your team to love your leadership. That's not easy. There's a lot of people that have horrible, I mean, horrible leadership in network marketing. They're just not easy to like. They're just, you know, sometimes because maybe they have ego. They think a lot of themselves. Um, it could be that they really just don't care about their downline. They, they feel like uh, the fact that they're in their team, uh, you know, like that person did them a favor. Um, there's just different types of, and then, and then there's misunderstandings where actually 
um, the person's not selfish, doesn't have ego, really does care, but that person is misunderstood because they just don't say it or do it or do things that sends that message to their team. So one fault, and, and, I made, and I was thinking about that today, that many make, this is a classic mistake where you can be judged as not a nice person <laughs> and they may, may not like your leadership when in fact you could be an awesome person but you're just doing things wrong. So what are some of those things? Well, here's the classic. The classic is, uh, what, what day is this, by the way? I forgot the date. Uh, oh, it's the 24th. Okay, so you got a few more days before the month is over. Uh, you know, uh, so here's what I, you don't wanna do. Don't wait until the last day of the month and start calling your leaders. They know what you're doing. Now, I know nobody on this call would do that. I get that. This has to do with people in your downline. You can coach them on this, okay? But that's what a lot of people do. They don't call their downline or their leaders until it's like the last day of the month and they're wanting to make their rank because if they fall back in rank, they're gonna get killed in their income, right? They're gonna lose a lot of money. Could be, I mean, a lot of money. So I know leaders in my organization, when this happens, they could lose twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. It's huge. So the thing is, but what a lot of them do is they wait until the last day of the month and they start making phone calls. And that's the only time their leaders hear from them. Now, what does that mean? It means, here's the message. You don't care about me, you care about you. You only care about your income. But as far as my success, you don't care about that. Me as a person, you don't care about that. That's, and, 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 and again, nobody on this call is doing that, right? Okay, this is people in your team, <laughs> maybe. So, uh, he, so here's the thing, but the, the truth is, you might care a lot, a whole lot about them, but you're just doing it wrong. You don't wait until the last day. When, when do you need to do it? The first day of the new month. That's coming up soon, July. July, that's when you're gonna make the phone calls. And it doesn't, and don't, don't start it with business. Don't start it with business. You know, call, call, call us. You, you know your leaders. Who are your drivers? Who are your drivers that are driving your business? It's only going to be a handful. It's not hard to figure out, right? Start making a point to touch base with them and talk with them very early the first week of the month. Debbie, hey, I was just thinking about you. I thought I'd give you a call. What's going on, girl? How are you doing? How's the kids? Right? And the better half, how's he doing? Oh, awesome. Oh, you guys were doing this, that, okay. Okay, cool. Man, you guys went out to, to the beach and finally wanted to feel the ocean. It's been a while, been housebound too much. That's awesome that you guys did that. Oh, I didn't call you about the business. I just call and see how you're doing. No, I don't mind. We can talk about it if you want, but I just, you know, just touching base with you, that's all. We gotta make our leaders feel like that they are very important to us as human beings. They are not an instrument of monetary return. We have to make them feel that way. So what we do is we start early in the month. And, and so, and yes, you can talk about business, but you know, get, spend some time just talking about them, about that person you're talking to, that leader. Show some real interest in that person, that you really care about that person. 
You know, some don't want to do that. Some of them are like, hey, hey, you know, uh, I'm in this for the money. I'm in this for the business. As far as the having them over the house or going on picnics, uh, that's really not me. Okay. We'll see how long you have your team. You know, we'll see. I couldn't tell you how many people have been in this room. How many thousands of people have been here? How many parties? How many retreats? Many, many. And meeting them around the world in different locations and doing special things. So the thing about it is, what we want to do is if you want to have a great end of the month, start it right in the beginning of the month. And that is talk to your leaders. Talk to your leaders in the beginning of the month. Now, it doesn't mean that at the end of the month, you can't call them if something needs to be done. But the thing about it is, we don't wait till the end of the month to say, hey, let's do business. What is that? In other companies, that means buying in, buying, buying volume. So that, you know, don't you wanna hit your rank? <laughs> Some say, no, I'm okay, I'm right. No, 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 I get, you need to hit your rank. Please hit your rank. If you don't hit your rank, well, I don't hit my rank. <laughs> okay, right. So we know what this is about. So that's the thing. But there's nothing wrong with being concerned about your rank position and you're qualifying at your rank position. Nothing wrong with that. Just don't wait to the very end of the month to take an interest in your people, to inspire them to do more, to produce more, to become more. Don't wait till the end of the month to do that. Let's start early. And, and when you talk to them, say, hey, what can I do to help you, Debbie? Or John, or whoever, whatever their name is. Debbie, what can I do to help you? You know, do you have any goals that you want to achieve? And, and listen, I, no doubt they do. If they're leaders, they do. If they're drivers, they do. Then say, hey, I want to get dirty with you. Come on, I'll jump in there. Come on, let's do it. I'll do the work with you. And set, you could set some times, uh, you know, specific times to work together. Do that with your other key leaders too. you got to know where your drivers are. But if you want them to love your leadership don't wait to the end of the month and call them up and say hey, hey, hey how's how's it going how's the business going you know uh, you're gonna hit your rank that's bad that's bad bad culture and so here's the thing and keep in mind you're training them if you want to create awesome awesome culture that's you know where where people are loving each other's leadership then you gotta do it this way. You start early in the month and then you reach out to them. Start talking to them. That's when you really turn on the communication. And if there's anything that needs to be wrapped up at the, at the end, they're okay for that phone call. They don't mind that phone call then. Why? Because you called and talked to them so many times before in the month. A lot of people just, you know, they go through success coma. They just, they disconnect from their team. They're not talking. You know, I was messaging with one of my uh, huge leader out of Malaysia this morning. You know, you got to do that. You just got to talk to keep the communication alive. So that's, that's the one tip I wanted to give you tonight. If you want your team to really love your leadership, love your team. And how you show that is, again, not waiting until the last day of the month to call them about, you know, seeing what they can do to do more. What we got to do is do it early in the month, communicate, show the love, show the interest. We want them to succeed. That's what we're here for. So that's my message tonight. And I hope all of you guys are going to have an awesome, you know, rest of the week. Um, I'll put out some value tomorrow and then uh, Friday is going to be a Q&A session. So think of some good questions and pound me with it and let me see what I can come up with. Okay. Cause I, 
I always go back to the past. That's, that's where I find my answers. I've just been doing this 40 years, so I've got a, a lot of accumulated answers over the, that period of time. So thanks for getting on, and uh, thank you, Mindy. All of you, have a wonderful evening.